Hi everyone, Tegan here, ready to make our first science experiment for Science Week. Remember, I've just read a book if you've watched the video, Mr. Seahorse. So this year, Science Week is all about our oceans um, and it's called, the theme is called Deep Blue, um, Innovations for the Future of Our Oceans. So there's lots of important things in our oceans like fish and sea creatures, whales, and lots of plants that are very important too. So I thought the first experiment, I saw this a long time ago, but I thought this kind of looks like seaweed or coral. And those two things are really important for fish to either make homes in or eat. And they're all different colors. Some of them might look like good colors, like green, like our green veggies that are good for our bodies. Some of them might be bright or colorful because they might be poisonous or they don't want plants to eat, um, fish to eat them. Um, so this is a rock candy science experiment using sugar and water. Um, but I kind of thought it looked a little bit like something you might see in the ocean. So we're going to do that today. So I'm sorry, you can't see everything. I'm not sure how to sort that out just yet. So just bear with me for today's experiment. So what you need is, I'm just going to show you what I've got here. I've got a paper clip which I've tied onto a piece of thread or string or wool, whatever you've got in your house. And you need something straight that will hold that string like a pencil, an icy pole stick, a pen, a spoon, whatever you want to use. So I have those things ready over here. And I also have a vase. So it's clear, I can see into it. Now, something that's important to know is sometimes with science, things don't go how you think that they're going to go. So usually that happens at the end of the experiment. For me today, it happened at the start because my sugar, I only had raw sugar in my house. I did not think to check my pantry. I looked for everything else, but I don't have white sugar or caster sugar at my house, which is what is best for this experiment. I had raw sugar. Raw sugar has not been bleached. So this is what color it would look if it was dissolved. So my experiment is, is raw sugar going to crystallize the same? So just bear with me for that. We'll find out at the end of the week. So I have used my cup measure to measure out two cups of sugar and one cup of boiling water. Now, you need your mum or dad to help you with this because boiling water is extremely hot and it's quite dangerous. If it goes on your skin, it can burn you. So make sure when you do this that you listen to your mum or your dad or whoever's helping you. You, If they say that you can't touch it or you can't mix it, you need to use really good listening ears, okay? So I've poured two cups of sugar and one cup of boiling water and that makes a super saturated solution. So can you see here all the sugar has dissolved. So the water is holding lots and lots and lots of the sugar in its all of its molecules. Um, and I only have a little bit that's sort of still stuck on the bottom. So you have to mix it for a really, really long time. You have to have lots of patience um, and, and do lots of good waiting. So what you need to do is get a jug like this or a bowl that's safe to put hot things in two cups of sugar, one cup of boiling water, and mix it and mix it for a long, 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 long time. Okay, so I've already done that because otherwise this video will go for way too long. The next thing you need to do is get your paper clip tied onto your string and then you might need some help with this. Tie it onto your pencil, okay? So I'm going to do that now. I've tied it on and I'm going to get my bars and hang it in. Now, I haven't really tied this short enough, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually wind up the pencil a little bit, and then my string will be a little bit shorter because you don't really want your paper clip touching the bottom. Now, I would need something to hold it because it's gonna keep wobbling. That's okay, if yours wobbles and it's too long, you can maybe use some blue tack or something afterwards to hold it still. And now I'm going to carefully pour my solution of water and sugar in as far as it will go. Okay, and I've done that now. So this is what it looks like. Yours will look clear. Mine doesn't. 
What you can also do is maybe add a little bit of food coloring. If you've got some at home, you could make it green or blue or your favorite color to see if it looks like coral. I don't need food coloring for mine because mine is already kind of like an orangey brown color. Okay, and then after you've done that, what you need to do is wait for quite a few days, keep coming back and looking and something that scientists do is observing. Observing means watching something carefully with no touching, no bumping it, no moving it. So you need to observe it carefully without touching or bumping your vase or your jug and hopefully you will start to see some crystals form like this. So um, I hope you give it a go. Let me know how it, how it goes and I will post some updates later in the week. All right.